Welcome to my annual WrestleMania recap. To set the scene, we are still rocking with the pirate theme that they had last year, but this year, there are actually people there. They're in Tampa, live crowd. Hulk Hogan's hosting, looks Hulk Hoganier than usual. Titus O'Neil's his co-host, gonna be honest, didn't know who that was. Apparently he's from Tampa. Let's get into the biggest matches of the weekend. Okay, so Bad Bunny showed up. Uh, If you don't know who Bad Bunny is, this is mostly from my mom. He's a very famous, great musician. He's won Grammys. He's performed at the Grammys. He's released a ton of bangers. Mr. Bunny teamed up with Damian Priest to go up against The Miz and John Morrison. Now, The Miz is that guy from MTV, and John Morrison is not the guy from The Doors. That's Jim, but I can't hear his name without wondering if they're related. They also have a similar vibe. Mr. Bunny is really good at wrestling, like really good. As a mere civilian, Throwing yourself off the top rope seems really, really scary, but Mr. Bunny just did it. He just launches himself onto the ground, outside the ring, body slams the Miz and John Morrison. He and the priest guy win, and uh, I'm in awe. Bianca Belair is, in my humble opinion, the greatest thing to happen to wrestling maybe ever. Did you know that she makes all her own costumes? Anyway, that's the least impressive thing about her, which is saying something because the costumes are great, but I spoke to her this summer and she was so open about how she just wants to be the best. And she still managed to come across as humble because she's just a genuine woman who wants to reach her full potential, knows how good she is, and isn't gonna back down from that. The problem is that Bianca was facing Sasha Banks and Sasha is someone you do not wanna cross. She's also very impressive. I spoke to her last year and even though there was a computer screen between us, I was still very intimidated. The match was an instant classic. These two together are electric, but someone had to win and Bianca did it. She looked like she couldn't believe it. She was sitting there, but she could believe it because she knew she had it in her. And she is now the SmackDown Women's Champion. Not gonna lie, got a little emotional. (sighs) Okay, uh, this one confused me, but we had Randy Orton versus The Fiend. And Randy Orton is that guy who wears tidy whities and The Fiend is Bray Wyatt's terrifying alter ego. Alexa Bliss is there. She's wearing scary dark makeup, but like a little girl dress. And there's like little kid music in a horror movie way coming through the stadium. I was pretty scared. Not gonna lie. She is maybe stuck in Bray Wyatt's fun house, which is like Mr. Rogers in a horror movie. I know it doesn't make any sense, but basically cut to the chase. Randy Orton and his tidy whities win this match. And then we cut to Alexa, um, who's like bleeding uh, black sludge out of her eyes. It looks like the Billie Eilish music video for when the party's over, but you know, scary. I don't really know what's going on. I'm not sure about the backstory. I feel like Alexa is now going to be stuck in the Firefly Funhouse for a long time. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. And judging my fans reactions, I don't think I'm alone in being like, what? Sami Zayn is apparently a conspiracy theorist now, and he has a match against Kevin Owens, and I don't really understand what's going on, but that doesn't really matter because the point here is that Logan Paul shows up. I don't know how to explain who Logan Paul is, shout out to my mom again, except to say that he's a YouTuber with like a bajillion followers and his brother Jake is also a YouTuber, but they also box. You might remember that his brother Jake knocked out former Nick Nate Robinson. Unfortunately for Logan Paul, that's kind of how his night ended. I think I've been out of the WWE loop for a little too long because I don't know who the surfer guy is. He looks like a mix of Pete Davidson and Steve-O and he's riding a scooter in like Captain America underpants. Fortunately, our social team had my back and it turns out that this guy is the original bro, AKA a guy named Matt Riddle. He took on Seamus, who is Irish. And I just love when they put Irish guys up there. Nothing gets me fired up more than an Irish tune. Can you tell I grew up in Boston? I miss Becky. Not surprisingly, Seamus kicked the original bros, but I have no idea how they did this for so long. It was a very brutal match. Everyone was bleeding, and I was relieved when Seamus won because it meant that it was over. I'm old enough to remember Rhea Ripley's first WrestleMania match because it happened last year. She took on Charlotte Flair. It was this old school, technical, great match. Rhea, wow, talk about a makeover. She has since turned into a goth queen of darkness. She came out wearing this black vest with studs on it. 
She had black lipstick on, leathery tight. She was ready to rock. So Asuka comes out in this flowing, colorful robe. She's got you know green makeup melting down her face. I think she's super cool. Both of these women have more energy than a pair of original Four Locos, but somehow Rhea won. It seems to be a new day in the WWE. See what I did there? Fans. When Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair take down Asuka and Sasha Banks. Fans seem to be happy about Rhea's win, but I was a little bummed. I liked Asuka. <music> Bailey didn't have a match this year, uh, but she kept popping up, playing this like weird, annoying little sister role, and everyone was really annoyed with her. And then the Bella twins showed up, and then they just shoved her down the ramp, and it was over. It was like 20 seconds, and I was like, what? All right, folks, we're into the final stretch here. We have finally got the main event, Roman Reigns versus Daniel Bryan versus Edge. This was an incredible match. If you don't know, the fact that this happened at all was mind-blowing. Edge and Daniel Bryan, two crowd favorites, both suffered injuries, retired, said they couldn't do it anymore. Roman Reigns left WWE in 2018 after he was diagnosed with leukemia for the second time. They are all back, and they all have a feud against each other, and... Before the match, there's this promo from a few months ago where Daniel Bryan walks out wearing his t-shirt and his underpants in that, like, I just got up to pee in the middle of the night vibe that he always rocks. In the promo, Daniel Bryan was pinning Roman Reigns, but then Edge showed up with a chair and he hit Daniel Bryan. I'm not entirely sure what the beef is here, but they clearly have some, and they're all at WrestleMania where they're competing in a triple threat match for the Universal Championship. So the moment of truth arrives, and my main takeaway is that Edge is scary. He walked around uh, the outside of the ring and was like tossing metal cubes everywhere. He looked kind of like a guy who can't find his leaf blower in the garage, even though he swears he put it there. Did one of you guys move it? But then he pile-drived. Pile-drove? Roman Reigns' cousin Jey Uso, who shows up and fans don't seem to love, into one of the metal blocks, and I'm like... That cannot be good for a person. All right, so then Roman threw Daniel through a table like he was making pizza dough, and Edge is so angry and red and veiny, and his eyes are bulging so much that he looks like one of those angry little shrimp guys from The Muppets, except he's huge. What I appreciate about this match is that any guy could have won at any time and walked away with the belt. I had no idea who was going to win. All three deserved it so much, and there was no clear redemption story because they've all got a redemption story. But Roman Reigns finally won with some help from Jey Uso. The crowd hated it. This seems to me that WWE finally made Roman Reigns happen. They won people over by having him play the ultimate badass that he is, pushed him on people a little too soon, but now he's filling the role he was born to play. So love him or hate him, Roman Reigns isn't going anywhere. Kind of like these recaps. <laughs>